So providing high quality health care is of the utmost importance. Surgeons are practicing every day and new and advanced medical devices have been developed. Robotic surgery is not the technology of the future. It's everywhere as a daily practice. But do you know how surgeons are practicing every day? Do you know how new and advanced medical devices such as surgical robots are being developed? And do you know how surgeons and engineers are testing these new devices? They are using simple models. They are using mock-ups like this. And these are not realistic at all. First of all, organs are located in the human body. So surgeons cannot move their hands or robotic tools freely in an open space like this. So many constraints are different from actual clinical cases. Animal testings are not ethical at all. And using uh, cadavers, dead bodies can be an option, but it should be avoided in some countries due to ethical or religious reasons. So when animal models are not available, they have no choice but to test their skills as devices on actual patients. So please imagine you are laying on a bed in an operating theater, and how do you feel? I think that now we share the motivation. So that's why that we are developing surgical robots and hyper-realistic human models. In this model, both anatomical structures and mechanical properties are accurately replicated. And this model can have sensors and actuators, for example, to quantify the operation on it. The next slide shows my dream. I thought it would be nice to understand what surgeon is doing in a quantitative manner using the hyper-realistic human models. And based on the data, we can develop new surgical robots. And we can test the robot using the hyper-realistic human models. And my dream is coming true. This is our new surgical robot for endonasal brain surgery. So you can imagine no animal has a human nose. So the development of this robot was impossible without developing the hyper-realistic human head model. And this hyper-realistic human head model was developed using this computer graphics model. We developed this model with neurosurgeons. And we are very proud to say that this data should be the most accurate and precise head model in the world. And this slide shows that red circle shows the target area in the brain. It's called the skull base. And 3.5 millimeter robotic tools are inserted from nostrils, like this way, while avoiding collision between each other and with the human body. So using this robot, we demonstrated that the robotic suturing is was more accurate than manual suturing without using the robot. And we successfully demonstrated it without sacrificing animals, without using cadavers. I'm a researcher of the surgical robotics, but I think that my vision is valid for non-medical applications. For example, we can use hyper-realistic human models to simulate a car accident. So we can learn a lot. We can learn a lot without waiting for accidents really happen. We don't need to wait that real people is damaged. So after listening to my talk, which robot would you prefer? Cleaning robot or a patient robot? <laughs> so I think it will be <laughs> I think it will be very exciting to discuss robots that can be tested, damaged, or sacrificed instead of animals and humans. And the next step of this hyper-realistic human models will be the replication of function. And to do so, we need new materials, new actuators, new sensors, and new controls. I hope that you like my vision, and it will be nice that we work together to visualize, to realize this vision and for a better society and for a better life. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>